The royal couple seems to be always on the move, whether they're on tour or attending highbrow events with their royal duties, demanding fairly regular travel. Prince William and Princess Catherine have to leave their kids with their trusted nanny Maria from time to time. However, their busy schedule still permits them to make time to take Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis out on day trips. As a family behind the guarded gates of the Windsor realm, life has been an exhilarating whirlwind for the devoted couple. It is not surprising, then, to envision the family seeking solace and tranquility within the timeless walls of Anmar Hall. The impenetrable men are hidden amidst moorfolk and chanting landscapes. Here, the young ears may immerse themselves in the rhythm of the estate, embracing the enchantment of outdoor games, sports, and boundless adventures that ignite their imaginations. The princess has proved time and time again that she's just like every other mum from taking her children. Swimming to shopping in the local supermarket, Kate was spotted in Sainsbury in King's Lynn, close to the family's Norfolk home, and M. Hall with Prince George, Prince Charlotte, and Prince Louis. The royal was seen by Kate Carter, founder of the Ugly Duck Creations who couldn't believe that they were just two feet away from her, when she went to stock up on supplies with her beloved daughter. She was with the children, and she looked lovely. She was absolutely beautiful, and the children were beautiful. They were so well behaved. She noticed Charlotte first, as she had a beautiful green jacket, the whales were looking at the clothes in the store and Charlotte had her eye on some dresses. She was just having a little bit of a walk around. They were looking at the clothes when I saw them. Charlotte was looking at the dresses. She was dead. Cute. Prince William's wife was dressed down in a pair of jeans and beige jacket for the morning trip out, even in casual wear. She looked absolutely beautiful. In a previous Apple Time to Walk episode, William said of their country home, which was a wedding gift from the late queen, We spend as much time as we can here. It's very peaceful. The three-story home is situated on the Sandringham estate and boasts a large lawn with swings, climbing walls, and climbing frames, making it the ideal location for a family getaway. While at their country house, family enjoys spending time away from the public eye and lead as normal a life as possible. William and George have even been known to help unpack the Waitrose food shop, which they get delivered to the house. As August approaches, the couple is expected to continue their tradition of heading to Balmoral in Scotland. However, this time there is a poignant difference. Queen Elizabeth U, the heart and soul of the royal family, will not be gracing the Scottish residents. The Welsh will undoubtedly be reminded of the Queen's passing forever etched into their memories as she bid her final farewell in her beloved castle, on September 8, 2022. Prepare to be captivated by the enchanting adventures of William and Princess of Wales as they embark on a summer journey, filled with heartfelt moments, unexpected destinations, and cherished memories that will undoubtedly leave us yearning for more. The Prince of Wales will attend the second Earthshot Prize Innovation Summit in New York City on Tuesday. The 19th of September Kensington Palace revealed on Wednesday evening. The father of three will be in the city on a two-day trip and is not expected to be joined by Princess Kate. He will be attending additional engagements and meetings, the details of which will be released closer to the top.